So it's a uh, Fairchild Protective Coatings, uh, PRC Excavation Concrete, um, Robert Stosgill and Brandon Rapola. We're here uh, on this rooftop over uh, Pacific Recycling doing the waterproofing using coaster, uh, the uh, coaster NB Elastic as the waterproofing. And then uh, on this deck, it's a concrete deck and they have at this recycling facility have all their electronic stuff down below um, the brains of this operation. So uh, what we're doing, uh, gonna go through is do this waterproofing, which you've already done. Uh, waterproofing and elephant armor is the top coating here. And, and to stop at this point, um, we had established this, was deck was poured first, and then uh, this was done second. So we came and did the waterproofing here. Um, as you can see, we stopped with the uh, uh, Elfer armor here. At this point, we have the NB Elastic waterproofing. Then we're gonna match this waterproofing and, and lap over top because we knew we were uh, going to uh, uh, be coming back and do this deck. So we have the seam that we're lapping over here. We have the cold joint here, which at this point, we're using the uh, waterproof tape to go inside that cold joint. Um, and then we'll have the base, two coats of the NB Elastic of waterproofing. I guess about 60 mils total. And then we'll come through and uh, uh, on top of that, we'll come to about a quarter to a half inch of uh, elephant armor. Uh, what we have roughly about a quarter inch here, but we'll end up uh, doing our base coat and our top coat will come back through and do the whole thing one more time. So it's all even. And why, uh, with this purpose also you need not just a regular waterproofing surface uh, for a regular rooftop, but as a recycling facility, they're gonna take these chunks of steel in this steel belt and things are gonna hit, fly, and chunks of metal is gonna be flying all over this building. Um, which is gonna be kind of interesting with this you know right here how many times it's gonna get hit but we don't regular waterproofing um, membrane systems that are not protected um, you're going to get gouged in of course regular gouge and the fact that you have all the computers and all electronics down in this system you can't get any water and otherwise short out and, and be uh, quite um, costly to repair those so uh, the choice was to go with uh, the MB elastic and then the elephant armor on top to give that protective coating uh, that is going to um, be flexible but also very very hard and durable um, to be able to handle and I'm sure that this is going to be the point where you're going to get all of the uh, you know metal pieces and flying up because they've done a few test runs and and chucks of steel went all over the place and so um, they got a hold of me and and wanted different options because of regular uh, um, roofing systems would not be able to handle um, that this type of abuse which you know you've seen in previous videos where we do this system for waterproofing tunnels and waterproofing uh, areas are going to be you know medium to heavy traffic and, and going to take abuse uh, that's where the elephant armor comes into play and that's with the GST International um, out of uh, Santa Rosa California but thanks again uh, this is Brandon Rapola, Robert Stogsgill um, oh, one more little thing that we've done th through this deck is we always do, we do a light diamond grind to get that maintenance off the concrete so we can get a good bonding between our uh, NB elastic being applied right now. And I need to jump off this video so I can start helping. But uh, thanks again, and uh, I look forward to uh, getting more videos done for you guys. Thanks. Bye.